Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen man, Camaros in general, awesome, awesome cars. Then you throw in drivability. You know, listen, muscle cars are very nice driving cars, but they're not like today's cars. Today's cars really are the best cars ever built. They drive really well. But what they don't have is they don't have style. And so you take a car like this, a 67 uh, Camaro, meaning the first year this car was born, which makes it iconic to start with, and then throw in uh, great drivability, you have a winner automatically. And those cars have a name, they're called Pro Touring. In this case here is a 67 Camaro uh, SS Pro Touring car. It has, uh, these are the window stickers you'd see on the car. Uh, this has two pages of it, so there's a lot of equipment. I try to remember everything as we walk around, but I want you to see and spend some time. And then you know what? Take your calculator out, take your pen and paper out, and add up all the work that it takes to get to this level of car, and you'll spend way more not to mention not get uh, a free enclosed shipping uh, to your door right here in the contiguous states or, or a warranty on the car. This is the way you want to get it done. You want to be able to buy the car, turn key, ready to go, turn signals, work lights, all that good stuff. All right, let's talk about paint because that's really always very important. Now listen, this is nice paint, but it's nice paint times five, and I'm going to tell you why. This is a classic uh, you know, dark cherry color that, uh, that we had all throughout the 60s, but this is done by House of Colors. It's called Candy Burgundy Metallic, meant to mimic uh, the paint from the 60s, but it is so spectacular, the color, when it hits the light. Uh, you can see, not to mention that it's five times the price of just paint alone uh, versus regular stock paint, okay? So, and then I show you this right here, and now you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, huh? Look at that, Jimmy boy, right there. You can see every letter, you can see everything. Then they clear coated over the stripes on here so you can't really feel them. Uh, that way when you're washing and waxing the car, because you're gonna wanna do that, first off, it's therapeutic. Secondly, you want your stuff clean. Um, it won't tear away at the stripes and wear those down, okay? New chrome and stainless all in here. And then we uh, modernized it with the modern uh, Camaro badges in here, which is pretty cool. So as you walk around this car, come check this stuff out. For instance, we got 18s up front right here, and then we have the Camaro callouts here that are uh, from the brand new Camaros, which just really, uh, I think, do a nice job. And again, like the paint, uh, if you could, come on up here and you can see, and that's what you guys need to be looking at. If somebody's sending you pictures, you need to be able to see their face. You can see the wrinkles like all the ones I got. They need to be able to be seen in those pictures that they're sending you. They need to see the, the hair on their face. That's the kind of paint quality you want because when the car arrives, it's not going to be as shiny as you think it is from 10 feet away. All right, new chrome and stainless here. All right, let's walk around. We got front and rear spoilers. We didn't talk about that. All right. All new paint back here. Sorry, new chrome and stainless here. The stripes, it's just perfect. I love this dark color burgundy with these white stripes. It just looks great. And we haven't even gotten into yet uh, the drivability things that upgrade this car. All right, let's go and we're gonna do that now. Okay, so here we'll do, let's pop this and I'm gonna show you a couple things, all right? So come on up here and check this out. This is kind of cool and this is important because there's so many things buried in here you can't see. And some of the things that are buried in here are $3,000 individually, all right? And that's gonna change the drive of the car. So come on up. All right, so we have almost a 400 horsepower small block. And that is a lot, a lot of power, but it's good power and it's nice drivable power. It's actually rated at 385 horsepower. And so some of the detail in here, air conditioning. Air conditioning's around $3,000. I love air conditioning. I tell you what, as you get older, the air conditioning is really, really nice to have. But I wanna show you some of this stuff that you don't see. See all the new wiring. Look at all that, all the new relays, okay? Everything in here is brand new. Look at this nice, big, giant aluminum radiator. You want a big aluminum radiator, and this is called an aluminum radiator. This is called a cooling module. It's not just a radiator. And the reason why is come around here and I'll show you why. You see this right here? It's custom built fan shroud for the polar fan to keep the air flowing nice and tight in here. Otherwise, around here, it would not be able to cool. So now it's able to cool everything in there, okay? There's no longer the old style steering box that you see on cars. It now has a modern rack and pinion steering system in it. The cool thing about the modern uh, steering system is it gets rid of the big steering box that would normally be right here, and then you can see the joint that goes down, just like a modern car, and the rack and pinion steering, which makes it really super tight, is hidden behind the frame so it looks really stock. But now this car with the 18s and the big fat wheels and tires on it handles really well, drives really well. You got power disc brakes, power steering, all right? All detailed in here. This is a spectacular car, man. I'm telling you, this car drives so nice. 
and it has a five speed. And you say, well, wow, that's really cool, five speed, what's the big deal? Let me tell you what the big deal is. The big deal is you can get on the highway at 85 miles an hour, right? At 2600, 2500 RPMs, AC's on, digital sound systems kicking out AC, DC or whatever, or some country music or whatever it is that makes you feel good while you're rowing the shifter, man. You see the smile on my face that I get right now? I'm hoping you're getting the same thing. Visualizing yourself wheeling down the road. Okay, not that the trunk is super important to you, but uh, if you're gonna go someplace, like this is the kind of car I'm hoping you go someplace. Not like you go five miles to a car show or something like that. Throw some bags in the car, man. Go away for the weekend in this. You're talking about digital sound system, air conditioning. Check this out. Even the trunk has a custom mat made for it. You can throw all your luggage in the back of here. You could use this car circa 1967, but drive like it's 2007 or 2017. All painted in here nicely. New gaskets, weather stripping, chrome, bezels, taillights, wiring, on, on, and on, and on. I mean, I tell you what, man, add up all the stuff on this car, and you will, you will drive down here right away. I'm telling you. All right, so let's check out the cockpit. We talked a lot about it, but let's check it out to see uh, what we like so much about it. All right. Okay, so these are Corbo uh, seats. They're custom covered in cloth with a matching rear seat recovered in the same fabric. So it's not like mismatched seats. You, you have no idea how many times I've gotten cars where I saw these seats right here and I must have missed it or they didn't say that they just left the seat in the back stock and it looks so stupid, all right? Custom console with some cup holders. I would suggest that you do any drinking of any uh, alcohol, but just to let you know, it does fit regular size drinks and things like that. That's my G-rated edition of the interior. I am now moving on to the X-rated edition. All right, so we got tilt wheel, all right? Tilt wheel to make some room if you need it, okay? And then we got these full gauges here. We put the tack down here. Instead of having stuff all over the place, uh, we put some billet stuff in and this billet shifter knob. You should see, man, it's just like everything fits so cool. You throw your uh, phone right there. You can hook up uh, iPod tunes, whatever you want, okay? This has a digital sound system in it, and uh, it sounds great, and it holds iPod, satellite, uh, all those good things to uh, enjoy some music, speakers all over, and just a wonderful, wonderful car. Uh, this is a custom billet steering wheel. It's got a half leather wrap on it. It's billet on the backside. The pedals we talked about. It's just a cool, cool cockpit, and it's a great driving car on top of it. And the seats are nice and comfortable, man. They're not like old school seats that are nice and flat, but they're uh, got some bolsters and some support and what makes a modern car today able to go hundreds and hundreds of miles in it and you don't feel uh, miserable, okay? Anyway, how about I fire it up for you so you can hear what it sounds like. All right, so as we close up the video on this car, listen, man, we talked about a lot of stuff you could see. Let me tell you just a few small things you couldn't see. Gas, adjustable shocks all the way around. Heavy duty coils, uh, frame connectors tying the whole car together so you get this nice solid feel when you hit a bump in the car. You know, the door doesn't rattle and the car doesn't feel like it's all loose because everything is tied together in here. The paint was beautiful. I love the cal induction call outs and the modern emblems mixed in as well. The interior is one of those things that you could drive in all day long. Not to mention air conditioning, hello, right? I gotta tell you what, man. Find a way to get this car in your life. Guaranteed, you'll have an awesome, awesome time. Call us 301-816-1000, and we'll tell you all about it.